Hey there, beautiful. All right, we're checking in for our Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising. I hope you're doing well today. And if we haven't met, this is Jamie. All right, appreciate you all being here. Let's check in for your energies, friends, and see how we can best support your journey. All right, for our Pisces, high good. What do we need to know? If that's a devil energy, I'm going to be like, what? Why is this coming up again? Because it keeps popping out every day. Capricorn energy makes sense. Let's have a look. I, I knew I saw it. I knew I saw it. Okay, okay, okay. Devil energy. Woman holding a coin. Woman holding a heart. Indecision. Ooh. Indecision. What is this about, friend? Hmm. Money, love, question of where do we go with this? A little bit of obsession, a little bit of lack of honesty. I don't know. Let, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Um, let's connect in a bit deeper to see what this is about. Interesting energy. Capricorn energy. We are in Capricorn season. Uh, sorry, we are in uh, Pluto in Capricorn at the moment, not Capricorn season. Wow, maybe something's happening in Capricorn season. That's not like till like right at the end of the year, right? And going into January. Um, mm, maybe that's when something's going to flourish. And you're going to have to make some decision on what you want. Maybe you're going to have to make a choice between money and what you love or stability and connection or for some of you you could be deciding between two different energies but yeah I mean um, as I was mentioning Capricorn Pluto is still in Capricorn Capricorn is around the 10th house uh, which is around our career and our social status and things like that right so and it's a lot about breaking down structures right now so this could be part of like not cheating yourself that you can have it all as well. Let's let's see where this takes us. Let's see where this takes us. All right. Let us see where it takes us. Thank you, spirit. All right. What else do we need to know here? Thank you. Okay. Ten of inspiration. Some pressure around something. What's this pressure about? Let's have a look. What do you need to ask for help? Okay, the sun. So that's masculine energy. Six of emotions, the empress energy, the temperance. Ooh, okay. Ooh, you got a lot of energy going on right now. But it's good energy. It's very good energy. It's creative energy. It feels in flow energy. But you got some pressure going on here. Or the end of pressure. Maybe you're being pressured right now to make a decision and you're trying to get clarity on that path. The sun energy, I'm feeling actually you're quite protected wherever that you're going. This is very masculine energy as well. Leo energy. But something's being lit. I'm feeling like a really exciting, uh, it's giving me proposal or path forward here, whatever that is. This six of emotions too is about being connected. It's a, quite an emotional energy. It's quite a reflective energy as well. Um, you know, maybe parts of us that we get to to see and to feel and kind of reflect on is what I'm getting here. Because uh, then we've got the Empress energy and the Temperance. So woman holding a heart, woman holding a coin is pretty powerful energy when combined, right? It's a nurturer. It's someone who's very stable. It's someone who's built and created. It's someone who's compassionate, loving, um, nurturing, if I haven't said that already. You know, um, it's also this balance between uh, mind and heart. And also in 
the, the stability of life, okay? So, but what's in question here? The timing of something? Is that what the pressure is, the timing of something? Um, maybe there's parts of something that you want to reveal here with this Empress energy and put out into the world. You know, she's kind of taking off this cloak here. So it's just something that's pointing out today. There could be a soul connection here too that's awakening a, a new part of you. I'm just trying to understand more on this pressure, but I will get to it. And then we've got the temperance energy, which is about the evolution of something. It's seeds we've planted, things we've wanted to do that have been in the making. And like anything, right, um, when we connect it to the moon or we look at the moon, it's it's a cycle, different phases to that creation or to the doing of things, to the culmination of something. So this could be part of a plan that needs to kind of be put into thought and action here. Um, let's dive in more. Ten of inspiration. We had the six of materials come out with the, okay, knight of materials. So something related to something balancing out, to something financially strong or some form of stable structure as well uh, in terms of an offer or I don't know why I'm getting profiting from something. Let's dive in a little bit more. Hermit energy. I'm going to put these back, but um, let's just have a quick peek. Ten of swords, two of inspiration, three of cups, eight of inspiration. Yeah, so something that you might, may have thought something about the planning process being over, it may come back to life again or some, yeah, something here about something that you've been wanting to do. Let's get a little bit more. Justice energy. Empress, what do we need to know? Seven of materials and temperance. Got the queen of materials, which is up there. Wow. Hierophant. Ten of emotions. And king of emotions. Okay, I like it a lot. <laughs> um, I just want to say wherever this is going, I, I, it's like I've got this excitement through my body. It's like the energy is increasing in terms of excitement, in terms of joy. You know that, I don't know how to explain. It's like a yes, yes energy is what I'm feeling. So... Whatever this pressure might be around your finances or around something that was promised or that you thought you were going to receive, I do feel this is coming on in, okay? Um, I do feel there's still this part of you that is being highlighted right now about these desires that you have, about the things that in its own way bring you to your knees that you're craving or desiring or want in your life there's something here about reflecting on that because it's putting some pressure on you it's putting some pressure on your thoughts and the way of action and the way of doing things or the way to maneuver something to get a certain result or maybe you feel like someone's pressuring you um, and maybe manipulating you to some degree so uh, and you want to take your time and you want to make sure it's balanced or right. So you might choose to, you know, um, courageously take the time 
for yourself that you need to so you can reflect, so you can see how you feel and weigh up certain things, okay? Because at the end of the day, you want to do what's right and you want to do what's right. You want to, And you also want to know that I think there's this part of you in trusting in your steps, in your movements forward that you've been through experiences and you're pretty switched on, right? So I'm just guessing here that whatever is evolving or you're feeling a little pressure from, pressure can be a good thing if it's supporting us to produce or to get things done or to get side out outside of our comfort zone. But if it's coming from a place that something feels wrong and off, you got to you got to check on that. You may be, be be feeling just a little bit bit manipulative, manipulated, sorry, uh, around a situation. But I like that you're you're going to take your time um, to make sure that this is something that is supportive in both directions. Again, as part of this reflection and this justice energy um, with the six of emotions, something from your past could be finally settling if you've got a legal thing going on um, or if it's something around children. Yeah, whatever this that is coming through because this could be offers on the table as well and some legalities that you've got to finalize. But I feel this is bringing out a new version of you as well, okay? This is kind of like opening up. This is also opening up. It's like taking off, like I said, this veil or taking off and, and revealing parts of you to the world that maybe you haven't or to someone or to a situation that you haven't done that before. It's like you're, you're choosing to invest in a certain place, in a certain path, but you're willing to take the time to do it. So as part of this decision-making process, I think that's great. Taking those little steps forward, taking and, and just working in flow with it to see where it lands. Because with this queen of materials, it's kind of let us, letting us know here that if this is around work and around your finances, there is something very strong coming through. Or if this is around the home front, there is something very strong coming through that's really going to hold ground and space for you to grow, to explore, to expand. And also, if there's any legalities, contracts or things that that you um, that are presenting itself so this could be you know opportunities partnerships um, it could be something from your past or something that you've really been wanting to do yeah it could be divorce separation something around your children I'm just I'm just getting a sense here that there's quite a lot of nurturing motherly energy around this and that is something that is intuitive. There is something there is something there that is very creative and wants to open up and expand here. And like I said, I can see this investment. So if you're making decisions on taking steps forward, that's the best thing you can do. Standing still is not supportive. So the great thing is with this moon energy, and I'm saying moon energy in terms of the temperance is the cycle part, is that when you make a decision to make some form of change and go with some flow, it allows other things to open up as it needs to. It allows certain things to highlight as it needs to. As you can appreciate, the moon is also about our feelings around something, but it's also about the um, the creation process, okay? So just be mindful of that, that you can shift and pivot and maneuver. Light shines on every step uh, part of the way. As we know, new moon, it's not it's pretty dark outside but the fuller it gets the more we can see the more we can kind of shift like I said make changes clear out release and and reapply where we need to and there's something important about that here because whatever this is is setting you up for success so this is a great thing because then further to that you've got the Hierophant energy which is some form of commitment in some form I, I'm getting like appraisal I'm not sure what that's about but maybe you know the appraisal piece is not appraising something as in valuing it but I feel something here that is presenting itself is part of your journey that you feel supported okay and it's making you happy, whatever this is. So it could be someone, you know, offering you something. It could be a commitment going to the next level here because whatever this is, there is expression of care, of love, um, of nurturing, but also, you know, this could also be to someone reflecting on how far you've come and how much you've worked through. And I don't know, I just, I feel like this is, this is part of the appraisal pieces that you're being rewarded in a really, 
wonderful way because here something was going on that you've stood your ground amongst the pressure that you've worked really hard to hold space and take your time um, and to make something work here that may have not been easy. So whatever this evolution is, it's very supportive. It's allowing you to invest in things that matter to you, to grow, to expand. But like I said, it's just not standing still. That's not going to help you succeed. It's making decisions. It does. I know sometimes decisions can be major, but even if they are major decisions, there's still you know little steps we've got to take to get to that final destination or that m massive milestone. So don't be afraid to break it down if you need to in smaller chunks so you don't feel the massive burden that may come with it. But again, whatever you're doing here is setting you up and going to be very successful and stable in that. Um, and a lot of care, a lot of support. Uh, I feel like for some of you, there is a, a strong commitment coming through that someone does want to, you know, maybe move in, connect with you here. Um, whatever this is, there's something that feels... Oh, that, see, this is what this could be too. Yeah. Um because maybe there's kids involved, maybe moving, putting you in a, a motherly place, blended family or something like that. I don't know if that's, I know that's a bit of a side thing, but that feels like it might be relevant for one person or another. Um, but yeah, there's something pretty strong that's coming on through. Love, someone wants to take things, I feel, to the next level or the commitment is deepening and there's this like, this is where I want to be. This feels good. I'm feeling the love here. I'm feeling the support here. So I'm just going to say enjoy it because uh, this energy is very strong, very supportive. I feel like, you know, maybe there's someone in your life or the choices that you're making is aligning the stability and strength as a person, as a nurturer, as a carer, um, but also a place that you feel love and connected and maybe finally seen. But I, I don't know, like, do you really need to make a choice here on one or the other? Why can't you have both? Like, I feel like you can have it all here. Um but again, it's doing it for the right reasons, you know, for you. That's in alignment with your values, your goals. And I see you discerning this and taking your time. So I love that. I really, really love that for you. Anyway, um, obviously, if there's two people, you it's ideal, ideal to make a choice. But um, maybe that's part of the pressure. Maybe one makes you feel loved um, in ways that you've never felt loved before. Uh, and maybe there's one that makes you feel secure, supported and stable like you've never felt before. And th maybe they're very, very different. Um, but again, I don't know, maybe you can have it all. Uh, but sometimes underneath the layers, you'll find that maybe there's all of that too. So I don't know, I feel like this is one energy. So this is either your energy or someone that you're dealing with, but there seems to be some decision and I just don't know if you need to split that. I think there's something to explore and work with is what it feels like. Get creative with it. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave that with you. Much love.